going to come close when I'm cutting cow guts. That's pretty tough because my knife is pretty sharp. This is the yummy part. See all the little fingers in the gut. Mm, but it's not good when you get it in your face. See all that loveliness? Oh. Yeah, we're getting the flies. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. This cow been eating feet. That corn. I just sharpened this. Where'd you put my stool? Yeah, okay. Sure. See, now look at this gut. See how this is different? This is a different stomach. Come close. See? That's a different stomach than this. See how this has got fingers? Mm-hmm. Cow's got, I don't know how many stomachs. And then there's another one that looks like an accordion. And it's got all of these layers like that. It's really neat. Will come out of it? Uh, no, Granny, and I don't care if they come out of it or not. They're not my ferns, then they can die. For $12, I can go buy new ones. Besides that, you put them here on the west side of the house. I doubt ferns want to be in the west sun in the evening. So the truth is, if I talked to a lady that owns, it's called greentripe.com, this was years ago. She had a dog lived to be 21 years old eating this stuff. So it's like eating superfood if you're the dog. Is that dog feed? No, Granny, we're having it for supper. Are you coming? I think I'll pass. <laughs> it's been sitting out here for three days in this bucket. It's cold, but... It just thawed out. It was cold. It was he fed today. 41 degrees last night. I got a bag of chicken I'm going to chop at my house, too. Have you seen my girl down anywhere? Nope. I'm not. Oh, Welcome to use mine. All right. You're driving, sis, because I don't want to touch anything. I don't want to. <laughs> I'm, I'm double gloved, and I don't want to unglove. Yeah. 